One of the most inspiring customer stories is about a G named Otto and his driver, Gunter Holtdorf. Together, they embarked on a truly epic road trip over 26 years through 215 countries and spanning nearly 900,000 kilometers, at least one third of which off-road. And consider this, the rule of thumb is that one kilometer off-road puts roughly as much strain on a car as eight kilometers on-road. By that measure, Otto logged something close to three million kilometers. So, given stories like this, it's even more impressive that about 80% of all G-Wagons ever built are still on and off the road. That's a percentage you'd expect for collectible coupes or convertibles. But those cars often spend most of their time as garage queens, not climbing rocks or blazing through deserts. Still, you cannot keep a car alive over decades just by telling stories of past glory and keeping it away from rust. We've learned over time that preserving heritage also means constantly improving it. You need to invest both bucks and brains to add new chapters while staying true to the overall script. That's exactly what we've done with the G-Class over decades. When designing a new car, you usually start with a long list of things to change. This time, we also started from scratch with the G-Class. One key question, however, was what do we have to keep? Of course, a lack of design, innovation, has been one reason why some cars and even some car brands passed away. But for the G-Class, keeping its iconic shape is part of the success formula. For example, we could integrate the door hinges, but we didn't. We could streamline the turn indicators, but we won't. We could remove the grab bar, but if you've ever driven the hardcore shuckle off-road track, you know we shouldn't. So when the team in Graz wanted to test drive the new G in public, they actually considered going without the usual test car camouflage. They figured only experts would recognize this as the secret new G. It could literally hide in plain sight. After all, it's pretty hard to hide an iconic shape like this one anyway. There are simply some things you cannot camouflage. But preserving the character of the G-Class is not just about looks. It's also about sound. For example, conventional cars have a locking sound like this. The G-Wagon sounds like this. It will continue this way. And that's a good thing, right? And above all, there is one thing that matters most. Unparalleled off-road capability. That's the core of the G-Wagon's DNA. For that reason, we didn't even think about replacing the G-Wagon's holy off-road trinity. The letter type frame, the 100% differential locks, and the low range gear. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, hey, did they invite us to Detroit just to say, here's the new G, it's just like the old one? Of course not. Let me clarify. This door handle is one of just three G-Class parts we carried over from the current to the new model without any improvement. An improvement in this case means we fundamentally refurbished the interior, we created an entirely new on-road experience, we took the G's legendary off-road competence even further, at the same time we preserved its iconic character. And the only proper way to measure a G-Wagon's improvement is taking it out to its favorite playground. Mount Schöckel in Austria. That's what we did. Take a look.
Let's go. On the first day of our development, it was already clear. When it comes to off-road, we make no compromise. The new G-Class has, of course, the same key features as other G-Classes. Leather type frame and low range gear, offering additional power and control whenever needed. Just by pressing our center differential lock, we're entering the G mode, which is all new and prepares perfectly for every off-road terrain. 100% incline is standard for the G-Class. We have a new feature, an off-road camera made for extreme driving situations. Driving conditions like this, when adaptive damping really shows its strength and puts a big smile on my face. I think it's clear, only a G-Class can be better than a G-Class. Yes, Gunnar is absolutely right. The new G-Class is better than ever. It really excels on Mount Schöckel. That's also possible because the new chassis is co-developed with our colleagues of AMG. Its torsional stiffness is improved by 55%. At the same time, the new G-Class is 170 kilograms lighter. Another example is the independent front wheel suspension. It delivers on a smoother on-road performance. And that's great, but it also improves off-road capabilities. And that's what really counts. Or take safety. Of course, the new G now offers all state-of-the-art safety systems you expect in a modern Mercedes. But the new G-Class also has some unique solutions. For instance, the G's iconic turn indicators now disappear in case of an accident. That protects pedestrians and the signature look of the car. Of course, there's also a huge improvement in comfort. One of my favorite proof points for that is the rear view camera. As any G Wagon owner knows, the rear camera in the current model mostly shows the spare wheel. That's why our engineers have now placed the camera below the spare wheel. But on top of that, they also made this camera 100% waterproof because the new G-Class also has a significantly improved wading depth of 700 millimeters, that's almost 30 inches. Finally, on the inside, we'll find a dramatically upgraded interior. There's more space, more choice, more cutting-edge telematics, and more convenience. All of this underlines one thing. The new G beats the current highly capable model in every discipline, almost literally on any terrain. And with that, I think the time has come to recreate some of the magic that once happened in this theater and finally show you something.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the new G-Wagon. The new G-Wagon is not the only living legend we have on stage tonight. We also have a very special guest who is a perfect match for this special car. Both were born in Graz and now have a huge fan base here in the US and around the world. Both are strong characters, sporting a rather boxy design, and both make me look like the only guy on stage who could use some time in the gym. Let's give a big hand to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome. Hello, Dieter. Wie geht's? Great, great. I'm so glad that you lived up to your promise. I'll be back. Of course. The Terminator always keeps his promise. Absolutely. But absolutely. It, as I told you, it is such a great honor to be here today at this celebration and the introduction of the new G-Wagon because I have driven G-Wagons now for 25 years. That's so I love this car. This is my favorite SUV. A real, real loyal customer. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. And throughout your career, obviously, you have been in many different roles, master them all, from Conan, Terminator, you just mentioned, governor, not the least of all. And you always were successful, even when it was in difficult terrain. So you really know what we are talking about here. What, for you, makes an automotive icon? Well, I think it's a very good question, because I think what is unique about this G-Wagon is, as you said, it was born in Graz, Austria, where I was born, except 32 years later. But little did I know that when I started getting into bodybuilding and building the best body, at the same time, G-Wagon became the best built SUV. Then I started getting interested in becoming more powerful. All of a sudden, the G-Wagon I saw becoming more powerful. Then I was getting more muscular, the G-Wagon got more muscular. Then I wanted to get faster, then the G-Wagon got more fa fast. So it was unbelievable. So basically what we're talking about here is the true twins. Think about that. Absolutely, the two, absolutely. The two I think twins. about but, that. <laughs> but here is the most amazing thing, Dieter, that I try to prove how I can go from one part to another how I can go from bodybuilding to show business, and how I can go from show business to politics, effortlessly. And then at the same time, this happened here with the G-Wagon again. It can go from snow to mud effortlessly. It can go from the freeway to off-road effortlessly. It can go right in front of a movie premiere. I pulled out with this G-Wagon a movie premiere, and it looks like an elegant limousine, effortlessly. This. SUV can do anything and everything, and this is why I love this car. But now I have something, thank you very much for all of that, but of course, I have something, something which is different. This week, we went, we took through several facelifts. What did you to stay in shape? Is it schnitzel or is it sport? Well, I tell you, sport is very important, but you know, you never say to anyone in Hollywood, what did you do for your facelift? Uh, this is an absolute well, no Well, that's why I said this is the only different thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I tell you that I, I think that you guys did a fantastic job because I prayed that when you talk about redesigning the car and coming out with a new G-Wagon, that you don't touch the look of it. Because I think this car became so uh, historic and such a great car and it, uh, it is loved by everyone around the world because of its look, the visual look, the boxy kind of a look is what is so attractive about the car. And so what you did was you improved the car now and the inside is of course spectacular. I got a quick look at it in Beverly Hills and the performance and it's a more energy efficient and fuel efficient engine and a more powerful engine and everything has been improved but the look is still fantastic it has this boxy look except it is now wider 10 centimeters wider and i had much more leg space in the back do you have any free time because we need a few more 
salesperson for a new G-Wagon. <laughs> I think <laughs> there's no better chance we can have than this one. But you're perfectly informed, that's exactly right. So um, clearly, um, we listened to you, we heard your prayers, or someone heard your prayers, and we followed suit. And exactly, even though that every single part is new, it looks just like the former one. And that's what was our job objective. Nadira, I have a question for you. Yes? I think a lot of my friends, especially since I'm an environmentalist and I'm interested in the environment, and I think that eventually we have to get off fossil fuels. What is the future in fossil fuels? And does this G-Wagon eventually come out as an electric G-Wagon? Because I have one right now in Los Angeles, an electric G-Wagon, the first one in the world, and it drives fantastic. What is the future in that? You know, um, last year we said publicly that we would um, change the entire Mercedes portfolio to having all electric drive trends as well. And that clearly says, stay tuned. So you will electrify the Mercedes. We said the entire, the entire portfolio. That's fantastic. Let's give a big hand for that one. This is very important to the world, to the health of the world. Thank I agree you totally much. with Thank you. you. And uh, before we leave, Dieter, since you have stayed so much and lived so long in America, I saw you becoming more Americanized. Yes, I've seen you with true. jeans. True. Which is not common with executives. Nope. Of your level, especially. And then I've seen you many times in cowboy boots. Today, tonight, it was too cold here for it, cowboy. It, These are better isolated. It's okay. <laughs> I have my cowboy boots yeah. on, so don't worry about it. You're not such but, a wimp that I am. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a gift for you here. A gift? Which is very important that you, this it makes them the complete cowboy out of you. Let's have the gift. Wow. First of all, let's have mine. Wow. Right here, cowboy hat, and here's your cowboy hat. Wow, and it fits. So look wow. at this now. Wow, that is great. <laughs> Most impressive. <laughs> that fits perfectly well. Here. I really guys. <laughs> very much appreciate that. This is a great idea, and I'm really going to the hotel right afterwards and get my boots. Aber ganz schnell. Absolut. Ich werde rennen. Okay. Well, Arnold, thanks again for very, very much for all you have contributed here. Um, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate. Uh, I would very much like to follow an old tradition, and I guess you know that. Uh, it's from Mount Schöckel. Whoever masters this downhill ride, which is really, really tough, is awarded with a G-strong Austrian drink, Serben schnapps. I don't even think there's a proper translation for Serben schnapps. But Arnold, you certainly know what this means and what I'm talking about. So anyways, cheers to the new G-class. <laughs> and cheers to the team who brought it to life. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers, the pleasure. cheers to G-Wagon. Ah, that's a good one. You don't have that in California, do you? No. no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I import it to California. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I bring it to California because I love schnapps. I think one schnapps a day keeps the doctor away. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, thank you very much. So.